Ladies don't just slap me. Because I don't want to slap anyone else. The last book I read was Charlotte's Web when I was about eight. And recently my sister gave me books because she said I need to start reading again. So maybe next time we meet you can ask me that and I'll have read like amazing books. A song that changed my life, I would say I Will Always Love You, Whitney Houston. That song, literally, every video we have as me as a kid, I'm listening to it and I'm singing along and I think it just... I used to just like sit and watch her on the, in the bodyguard and just wish that was me. What would I give myself out of 10 for looks? I would say five, because I think you've always got to be in the middle and then makeup always makes you feel a bit better, but you don't want to see me in the morning, I'm a three or two. If I wasn't a musician, I would probably be a makeup artist, a cleaner, or a life coach. My guiltiest pleasure is um, Jersey Shore and that Cotton Eye Joe song. Cotton Eye Joe, I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. My favourite album of all time? Well, that's a tough question. One of is Lauren Hill, Miss Education. I don't think anyone sings or raps like her anymore. And I think that that, song, that album was one of the albums that made me want to start writing music. What is my price tag? I'm priceless. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Like the credit card advert. But this is priceless. Probably about 50p, to be honest. Good ironing. Um, don't know. Just good hair dryer. Good straighteners. Amazing straighteners, cloud nines. Best straighteners in the world. Those kind of things aren't really up to me, unfortunately. Um, it's when there's enough, you know, people that are kind of going, we love JCJ, for me to go and hopefully sell out a venue. But I want to go everywhere while I'm still you know, around, hopefully with, with a foot that's healed. I write about life, so it's kind of, the next album will probably be more about the life that I've led in the last six months, you know, I had seven years to write the first one. Um, and I've seen a lot of different things and, you know, things change and, but I hope just good music. I don't want it to sound the same or, I'd love to do an acoustic album too.